All right, so I'm Farah, and this is my um, project on tobacco advocacy. So for my um, practicum, I worked with the Canadian Cancer Society, which is a national nonprofit organization that has offices throughout all of Canada. They are largely volunteer-based, and um, there's approximately 140,000 volunteers that work with the society. So their mission is obviously to um, create a cancer-free world and improve the lives of those living with cancer. So they work to do this by funding research, influencing public policy, and supporting those individuals that already have cancer. So you might have guessed my practicum case was on tobacco advocacy uh, with specific focus on electronic cigarettes and uh, smoke-free outdoor spaces. So um, I helped with this work by learning about existing tobacco bylaws within our own community as well as other BC communities and uh, learning more about e-cigarettes, sharing this information with others, uh, sending thank you notes to MLAs, and reaching out and advocating to other BC communities. Okay, so currently there is a patchwork of bylaws within BC and no provincial legislation controlling uh, smoke-free or smoking in public spaces. So the Canadian Cancer Society is looking to change that by eventually advocating to the provincial government. Here in Victoria, there is no smoking in outdoor public spaces such as parks, playgrounds, uh, beaches, and restaurant patios. This legislation came into effect very recently on April 1st. However, many other BC communities do not have the same legislation, and therefore individuals are subject to inhaling secondhand smoke. So, okay, this is just the main image that was used to advertise the new uh, smoking bylaw that came into effect. So, my practicum work centered on becoming more knowledgeable about these bylaws and sharing this information with others so that we could advocate for new legislation. So, I learned a lot more about electronic cigarettes and the importance of regulating these products. So, you might be wondering, okay, why do we need to regulate e-cigarettes? So, for those of you who don't know much about them, I've included a few images here that tell you a little bit about them. So, currently, much of the advertising and marketing about, um, of these devices is being targeted at youth. So this can be potentially really harmful as it can lead as a gateway to smoking. Um, it is also problematic as e-cigarettes are currently completely unregulated, meaning that there is no way to control the kinds of products and chemicals that are in them. Uh, just as a side note, over half of uh, BC youth begin smoking flavored tobacco products, so therefore flavored e-cigarettes kind of have the same potential to lead as that gateway. So nice flavors there. Okay, so <laughs> this is a clever advertisement used by the Canadian Cancer Society to show that flavored tobacco products and the like have the same negative effects on our health as regular tobacco products. So these next two images show how e-cigarette advertisements are being overly sexualized to target youth. <laughs> these kinds of advertisements are floating around in magazines. I believe this one came from Sports Illustrated. All right, this is another lovely one. So this is a fantastic images that shows the genius of the uh, tobacco companies which manufacture electronic cigarettes. Sex sells, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is a picture of a little girl. She's holding a package of gum in one hand and a package of cigarettes in the other hand. E-cigarettes are being marketed in exactly the same way and often their packaging mimics that of candy. So. All right, so the purpose of learning about all, was, all this was so that the Canadian Cancer Society could advocate to the government for stronger legislation. Okay, so the goal was to meet with members of the, mem of the Legislative Assembly in early March to um, discuss these important topics. Unfortunately for me, in early March, uh, the provincial government announced uh, new legislation that would begin to regulate, place some regulations on e-cigarettes. Of course, this is great news, but it very it affected my practicum case a lot. So. The new uh, legislation regulates e-cigarettes in the same way as conventional cigarettes, prohibiting their sales to minors and the replacing where they can be used and sold. However, it does not um, target the promotional advertising tactics nor all the millions of flavors that are available. Um, it also does not regulate the products and the chemicals that go in them, which is, of course, one of the major problems. So, after this hiccup, uh, the next stop was, uh, step was to advocate to other communities. So I reached out to four communities on the island and asked them to write letters to their municipal councillors asking for bylaws in their communities that were similar to the one that we, the CRD, um, passed as of April 1st. 
So, I mean, if the BC government is not going to pra pass provincial-wide legislation at this time, then we might as well get um, communities, local communities, to pass their own bylaws. So, from this practicum case, I learned that health promotion projects are quick to change. They can change at any time, no matter how much work you've put into them. And that there is a strong uh, relationship between health and politics, and that politics at every level of government is crucial to the health of a population. And that's it. I tried to get Farah to say that uh, Christy Clark knew that she was working for the Canadian Cancer Society, and so therefore she just had to jump the gun. But that was it. She was trying to. Screw she me. wouldn't do that. So. <laughs> Questions, comments for Farah? Anybody? <laughs> Um, so it was really nice to hear your talk because um, I'll be presenting a little bit later on on a smoke-free policy that's um, happened for the Canada Winter Games, but um, it's, I think it kind of speaks to how you really had to be flexible, and especially in health promotion, I think that's something that's really important skill to learn, so I think that you probably did that really well, and I remember when that provincial, they, they made, made change in the provincial thing, I, I kind of had to include it in my paper like last minute too, yeah. so I totally get that. So congratulations, that was awesome. Thanks, so you definitely learn a lot more about the real world and how it's not, it's not always as planned. <laughs> okay, so again, I just have a comment, it's not a question, but it, I, I was not aware of the type of advertising for electronic cigarettes, and I was shocked. Like the losing weight one, it's I know. shocking. It's interesting how they target it also. Yeah, like you can have all of these flavored cupcakes, but zero calories. It's interesting. It's, it's scary. Yeah, <laughs> it's scary. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Farrah. Yes. Great job. <laughs>